What up, guys? Welcome back to another replay analysis. This one of Jakar Sampson. He was a champion at the time, 2v2. Uh, he would now be a grand champion. Um, and just trying to figure out, like, how to play well against grand or super champs. Uh, pre, uh, pre patch. And, uh, yeah, thanks for pro providing all the great content. You know what? Thank you, man. Thanks for, uh, supporting me. Patreon.com slash give zero zero is where you can get your replays analyzed. And I'm also doing a giveaway, actually, for a replay. It should be ending probably tonight, maybe tomorrow night, depending on when this video goes out. But uh, check that out. I'll try and link it in the description. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. He's actually playing two guys that we know pretty well. Moses and Klazix. Moses from um, Exodus and Klazix, you know, from Genesis. So he wants to figure out how he can get better. And it's going to be tough because obviously he's already really good. Uh, so we're going to just point out some things here or there. But we'll probably see a lot less than we usually do. All right, so two twos. <coughs> it's weird. Like You have to have trust in your teammate on faceoffs if you want to go for boots. Completely understandable going for boost in twos. Um, I personally would cheat up usually, but like, but like a cautious cheat. Because um, sometimes you, you get some better scoring opportunities out of it. But. Here's a little bit of ball chasing. It was So this play was weird. I think he thought Wonder was going to like try and feed him the ball, and then he kind of left for the boost, and that was just awkward, like kind of bad communication there between the two guys, and they're not playing together, obviously, so... Uh, that's gonna hurt, and Classics and Moses are playing together, but honestly, they're probably not even chatting. Like, they might be, but, um, usually it doesn't really matter to them in this type of game. Smart play here. So this play's actually really smart. Uh, like, I was worried he was gonna try and just wall clear this and throw it right to Moses. Uh, but this play's actually pretty decent. The only problem he has here is that first touch. Uh, these first touches are really hard uh, off the curves of the wall. And doesn't make the best first touch, but he does at least stop the shot. The problem is Wonder is up here the entire time waiting for a pass, which I don't really understand why. Like, I guess here he could have been waiting for the pass. Um, but, but but you got to be very careful when waiting for a pass. Uh, it's very difficult to... Because, um, like, I, I don't know. Like, if you fail the pass, then you're kind of screwed. Right here is just a 50-50, and Wonder's out of the play. Now, Moses, with just a quick dribble, does the smart goal, actually. Like, I want to point out Moses right here. So this is a goal I, I st like talking about all the time. Whenever you see a goalie driving in the opposite direction, you always want to throw it over his head to the post he is coming from because it is nearly impossible to save a ball if it's behind you or if it's right above your head. It's actually really difficult to do, and that's what Moses does there. Like You don't want to give him the chance of having a forward save, which it w would be a lot easier. And by the way, uh, Moses' car actually looks pretty nice. I, I like to look at that car. Slipstream all the way. Screw Heat Wave. Heat Wave is garbage. Does he have Heat Wave? No, he has things. Okay. Let's continue. Labyrinth, also, not a huge fan of But, Slipstream, best mystery decal there is. So, let's continue. Good 50-50 here. So, on this face-off, his buddy actually cheats up with him, which I personally like. Uh, works out pretty well. Uh, he just doesn't have any boost here, so he can't really fake anything. Usually here is when you try for the mind games against Moses. But, Moses knows that he has no boost because he, he just went for face-off. So it's just a good idea to get behind that ball and try and uh, stop it uh, from going anywhere. Uh, this play, kind of pointless. Like, at this level, you know Classics is going to beat you to this ball. Pointless to jump at this point because Classics is already in the air. Plus, the ball is rolling towards him. So it could also be misleading a little bit more towards him because because obviously the ball is inching towards him. Uh, so I'll just be careful on those. Uh, usually, then your teammate just has to bail you out. And he does a pretty good job here bailing you out on the clear attempt. Um, good play there, not deciding to try and circle around that ball. Moses actually had a really poor shot, but it worked out for you. You got the pass to a teammate, which is what you want to do. Generally in twos, you want to try and keep ball control when you can. Uh, this play's reasonable. See, class is coming up, maybe for a dunk attempt. You just kind of want to throw it out. It's not the end of the world. <coughs> but Moses completely outplays Wonder there. Uh, luckily, Moses didn't have an angle on the shot. Wonder, eh, not the greatest save there. Now it puts you in a bad spot. Good save, though. Worked out. Moses threw it a little high. But right now, Klaus and Moses are just keeping ball control completely right now. Uh, not much that you guys can do because they're just guarding that midfield line. And once you try and clear it, it like, if it doesn't get f further than midfield, you're in trouble. Here, the uh, corner shot actually helps you out because Moses was predicting the ball to go left. So that's why you guys actually have to clear here. They're actually doing a great job ball control before that. 
Wonder tries to make the play. Does get the uh, demo on Moses, which is always good. In twos, it's very important to do that. Um, and then again, just kind of poor 50-50. But 50-50 is going to happen all the time in this. Um, what you want to do here is not go directly at the ball. Right here, I would just try and kill the ball on top of Classics. Maybe do a diagonal flip so you try and stay behind the ball as long as possible. Um, instead, he kind of just went for the forward hit. <coughs> um, and then Classics is all over that. Um, doesn't really work out for him. Inches by. Uh, it was just good play by Classics. Again, a post shot. It's just time Classics reads. But getting extremely lucky that they keep missing these shots right now. They've been hitting posts like crazy. Um, and then again, it's just trying to get this ball out of the play. Right now, it's hard because they're just keeping so much pressure. Uh, you want to try and take over ball control when you can. This is a great challenge here. As soon as you see Classics with that first touch, now he's just watching him. And I like here, he actually jumps pretty early. And then he uses his side flip to decide which way he wants to go. He thought Classics might try and hook a little bit left. So he does a side roll left. That's exactly how you want to challenge a dribble. You want to go fast at him, but jump early. So then you, you can use your flips to change up your pace. Um, so it's a good play. <clears throat> but then at this point, your boy has to shoot this on net. Uh, that's a high shot. That's not a pass at that point because you're in their net trying to bump their goalie. Uh, so that ball just has to be on net. Um, it wasn't the greatest shot in the world, but whatever. Here's a really good pass for Moses, but Klesnik has no angle on this. So this is smart, just kind of sitting on goal line waiting for it. Uh, you, you guys just didn't get the greatest of touches there. And now you're just really trying to force this out. See, again, you didn't have to hit this ball out that fast. Uh, they're boost starving you. But your best bet is to actually roll that right into Classics with your car right behind it and try for a 50-50. Not just throw it right to Classics. Don't give them the ball control if you don't have to. Um, so just be careful of that. Good play here by Wonders. Just getting around the guys. Oh, and gets the dunk. Should be, yeah, I'll definitely go for the boost. Okay. I don't even know what happened here. Let's watch Classics. Did he do one of his patented own goals? Yep, patented own goal. Uh, screwed that one up hard. But it was a good idea there to go for boost first time that you had a chance for boost. Um, sometimes it is okay to, like, try and challenge for a weird ball, like, on your side of the field. Just so you can go towards midfield to grab a boost. Like, have, like, uh, like an excuse to get out there. Um, instead of, because, like, if they just keep taking your corner boost. So this is a bad challenge, too. Like, when you're trying to cheat <coughs> for, like, a 50-50 and trying to, like, hold the ball near your car, you want to be right behind that ball. He's not behind the ball at all. He actually just gives Moses... A chance to uh, ricochet a ball off the side. It actually works out, though, because it goes right to Wonder. So, not the end of the world. Actually, a decent pass. But I'll just be careful of those, generally. Wonder going up for some weird balls here. Does not have to go up for this. He should trust his teammate. But, again, no communication. Nothing that you could do there. But this is going to put you guys out of position a ton here. It's going to be tough to clear it. Good save here. I was trying to throw it a little bit more in the corner, but it's still good enough. But Classics has the ball on the corner. He's not going to do much with that. I would have challenged to the near post here, though. I'm actually shocked that you kept backing up at that point. Classics could have snuck that in. You just got to be a little careful there. But I understand usually you wait for the pass out. So he, he might have surprised there. But just be careful with that. There you go. Good challenge, my wonder. It's, it's smart to sit back and let your other guy challenge for a bit until he wins a 50-50. It's not the end of the world. He's got plenty of time here. Doesn't feel crazy. I like what he's trying to do here, but I would have at least tried to hit the ball. Uh, he kind of goes a little, like you hook a little bit too far out. Um, I would at least challenge to throw it up the corner, make them force a pass into the mid. Uh, instead, they got a like a little bit of a better pass opportunity. But that, but again, they didn't capitalize, so you're looking okay. <clears throat> Good pass by Moses. This is tough. Yeah, that's gonna be a goal. Very surprising pass, and it's right above you, which is actually harder than if it's if it's behind you. And Classics is one of the best players to, to get up there quickly. As soon as that happens, at that point, I would count your blessings and back up to the goal line. Of course, hindsight's 20-20. Um, but, yeah, that was just a, like a nice pass from Moses. A surprising pass. Not much you can do there. <coughs> so we'll continue here. Ooh. All right, he still won it. They both kind of hesitated here. He could have actually went to this a little bit quicker. Uh, but he still got there, which I was surprised that he beat Classics out. Although Classics would have not hesitated that much there. Uh, but you just want to try to not have any hesitation when the ball's coming off the wall. Because that's one of the 
easiest things for people. Uh, this was actually a pretty good fake. Uh, to make classics make a move right here, I actually kind of like. Uh, this is one of the things I do against uh, dribblers from time to time is I will <coughs> actually like turn and boost. So they'll think, oh shit, he's challenging, but he's actually just turning around and uh, going back. And it usually forces a move out of him. Classics didn't fall for it though. <clears throat> and then he just kind of whiffs on the ball here. Thinking Classics is going to make the play. So good deke here by Classics. Uh, he had a lot of options there. He could have passed to Moses if he wanted. Um, and then this is just kind of... Like he had the ball on the side of his car. Like right here. You should probably just go challenge like how you did earlier. Where you jump at it and then decide your side flip later. Because <clears throat> he probably only has one option. He could throw that away from you. And then it's more of a pass to Moses. But at least it's not a shot on net. Uh, but instead, you kind of gave him a little, maybe a little bit too much time. Uh, you kind of, like, right here, like, I thought that's what you were going to do, but then you went for the okie doke, like, let's head back to net and fake him out. Um, of course, hindsight, again, 2020 in these games, and uh, just didn't work out here, but you could have went for the early jump into late double jump to block a dribble. But to be fair, you're a 76ers fan, so you're used to failure. Let's continue. All right, good win there by Moses. He probably got the goal. Oh, no, he does not. Actually, smart play there by Moses. Trying to get the bump. Uh, yeah, like, again, this play, like, you just can't have those come off the wall like that. Like, I, well, I understand he was just coming back. But he had time, actually, to jump a little bit earlier. I think he was worried that Moses might get the hit. Uh, but, like, if he jumps and angles his car more to the left, he can easily pin this into the corner. And so he jumps a little bit late. And uh, it's just a little bit late going to those balls and turns into an easy... Classic shot that he actually misses, and Moses gets the goal. <clears throat> you just want to try and pin those in the corner. Try and hug the wall as best you can. Um, yeah, like again, Classic beats him in the air here. Classic's one of the fastest ones. He's not really doing a, the uh, double pop, uh, 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 eh, aerial, uh, or at least not doing it that well. Like that was a pretty slow one. <clears throat> so. Um, Kind of lose out on some height there really quickly, and we've lost out on the challenge because of it. So this play right here is a little bit ball chasing. That's definitely classic as ball. There's really no point of view going out here at all. I would have just circled the net, let Wonder take the next hit. It said you went out, and oh, we just hit no beds in there for a little while, um, which doesn't really work. Because in twos, if one guy's in no man's land, that means it's a two on one, and that's never a good thing. <coughs> Risky challenge here. I'm not going to say it's a good challenge necessarily. Um, Moses didn't have a great chance for a pass, I guess, first, but it does work out. Like, you generally don't want players to just run rampant in your corners because uh, they will pass it. Like, the good players will get some good passes off. So it is a good play if you can do the challenge. Um, but here again, a pass and play from the two of them. Actually, I think Moses just takes it himself, actually. Classics gives it up. So this is a good shot by Moses. Let's the the ball bounce to get a lot of power behind it right there and he gave it more time to get closer to the net and Jakar just couldn't make it up at all let's go back like Jakar kind of slowed down makes sense but Moses again a great shot location if uh, figuring it out which way he wanted to go uh, so that time, like, sure, you want to throw it behind them when you can, but if he's not even at the post yet, and you know that you can beat him in the outside corner, then take that shot instead. It looks like they surrendered at 21 seconds. Uh, yeah, Moses and Class is pretty good. It's just the way it's going to be. Um, it was really about that they just controlled that midfield game. They controlled the offensive side of the ball the entire time, and sometimes you have to slow it down on defense. Force one of them to 50-50 with you is not always the worst thing in the world to try and get clears. Um, of course... It doesn't help that you were playing solo and they had, you know, probably some communication and stuff. Uh, there were some plays by Wonder that were very questionable. Uh, but not a bad game overall. They just kind of outclassed you here or there. But hopefully we learned some things today. It's a little harder to do these ones at the uh, Grand Champ level. But I had fun doing it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we see more. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And thank you, Jakar, for the replay. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And uh, good job, Classics, getting the own goal. Later.